just a warning that there will be spoilers in this review that I do of the Visions episode, The Duel. So if you do not want that, click off of the video now, watch it, and then come back. It's only about, I believe, 13 minutes long, 15 minutes long. So it shouldn't take you too long to come on back and see what I think, and then you can share what you think in the comments down below. All right, without further ado, the storyline of the duel, a wandering stranger with a mysterious past defending a village from powerful bandits. I love this this episode. I love it because of the art style. I love the black and white mixed with the the splashes of color in the sabers and so on. I love the action sequence. I am personally a fan of the Kyber umbrella. I'm calling it a kyber umbrella because I I don't think it was necessarily a lightsaber umbrella. I know some of my friends were not a big fan of that, but I don't think it's I don't think it's that big of a deal because I love how when she pulls the lightsaber out like it dissipates into one and condenses into one lightsaber. And then we see what is an incredible incredible fight. Ronin, this wandering samurai, aka Sith wandering around fighting anyone and everyone why she's shocked and surprised that a sith would stand up to a sith she's so confused and duels him oh i loved it so much uh the the absolute amazing story slash little unit part of the universe that they kind of unfold here unfortunately this episode is not canon which drives me insane that this one's not canon. Especially because they're putting so much work into this with revealing that they're going to have a Star Wars Ronin, a Visions novel. I mean, it's going to be a novel by Emma Miku Kandon. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. October 12th, it will expand on the world of the duel telling the story of a former unnamed Sith known only as Ronin i.e. a wandering samurai as he travels the galaxy according to james wall uh, of the lucasfilm story group and executive producer of star wars visions there was just too much left to explore in creative producer jumpe muzaki M mizusaki's vision for the lack of the better term to stop with one tale out of all the shorts the duel felt the most right for an ongoing story and a novel after one of ronin's adventures I completely and wholeheartedly agree. This is straight from the Star Wars website, uh, starwars.com slash news slash Ronan Star Wars Visions. Uh, in case you want to check it out yourself, there is the article continues on. But the art style, the whole, the whole idea of it all, when they fight and they get to the waterfall and then he fools her with that other lightsaber. But what I want to know, this is what I'm talking about, why they need to expand on this. What was that What was that under the waterfall? Was that his place of dwelling? Was that just a random place where people like other Sith were? And then he's got all those kyber crystals, those red kyber crystals, and then he gives one to the kid, so does the kid become somebody? His droid has a hat? Like, ah! I don't know if it actually had a hat or if it was just, um, just like, uh, like built into it. I'm not really sure to be honest, but really guys, this episode of, uh, of Ronin, of Visions in Ronin, uh, the duel, I think it's just, I think it's one of the best things that Star Wars has ever produced. I wish it was canon. I don't understand why some of these episodes couldn't be canon. Others couldn't be, but I'm telling you, this is a very, very awesome uh little part of the universe that they unfolded and then a little bit of trivia for you the bits and pieces of stormtrooper armor worn by the bandits are taken from both imperial and first order uniforms isn't that interesting so if this was in the timeline is that saying it's after the first order hmm which then just unfolds even more for me, like, there's other Sith. Is he a Sith hunting Sith, or is he just wandering and then he fights them, but it looks like he's collecting those kyber crystals? That's why I love this episode so much, and I think why I love this episode even more so is the fact that they're going to expand on it. Well, if they're going to expand on it, they're going to give us more in this uh, Ronin novel. 
Uh, I really am super excited about it, but I would definitely have to put the duel in uh, in kind of that top echelon of the Visions episodes. I would love to hear what you guys think down below, um, because like I said, this is one of my favorite episodes that they did have out there. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I appreciate it. If you liked the duel, like the video, and uh, we'll catch y'all later. God bless. See you next time when we review the next episode in Visions.